I need uh, some caffeine in this bitch. Hi, Hi. welcome to Superfruit, the best show on the internet. My name is Gary Busey. My name is Ga <laughs> Gary Busey's Dentures. And together, we are terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. It isn't. I is thought he's mean? a nice guy. No, whatever. It is Gary Busey. He's an actor. Singer-songwriter. <laughs> so we maybe had the best day of our life yesterday, yes. and we just want to recap it. So as some of you may or may not know, Pentatonix was nominated and then eventually won a Grammy Award. Whoa, holy shit, I can't believe that actually happened. I'm still in shock. Yeah, we're, we're still, still buzzing. Yeah. First of all, thank you guys so much for believing in us from the beginning. This was the most <laughs> exciting thing that has ever happened to me. Our speech on stage was a mess. I was like, I am nervous and I need help. <laughs> and then we left. Um, and, um, a little nervous. It was such an amazing weekend. We have some stories to tell you because so much happened. So much happened. It was surreal. It was all so crazy. Where do we even begin? Where do we begin? Do we start with the Clive party? Do we start with... Yeah, we'll start with the Clive party. Okay. So Clive Davis invited us to his party to sing a Bee Gees medley <laughs> to pay tribute to Barry Gibb and the people that were there, Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus, and there was a million more celebrities there and we were so nervous, so nervous. and insecure on stage. Yes. That's Okay. okay, we did great, it was really fun. Yeah, actually, speaking of that, when we were back, we're gonna skip forward a little bit. When we were backstage at the Grammys getting ready to present, we ran into Miley Cyrus, and um, she was at that event, and she was like, you guys killed it. And then she was like, label buddies, let's take a picture, blah, 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 and we yeah. took a picture together, and her it, clavicles are sticking out this far. I know, <laughs> she looks like a queen. <laughs> then we got to go onto the Grammy <laughs> stage and present an award to Barry Gibb, yes. and then he presented Pop Album of the Year and Sam Smith won. Yeah. Sam Smith won everything. Yeah, he won everything. Every single but I support award. it. Oh yeah, so then we go back to our seats and on our way back, Nick Jonas <laughs> comes up and was like, hey guys, congratulations, love your music. Looking sexy as hell, and then he walks <laughs> by, and then Iggy Azalea walks by. Like, hi guys. I'm like, hey Iggy. <laughs> And then Megan Trainer walks by and she's like, oh, so good to see you guys. It was so weird. It's serious, I'm not We were like looking at each other like, like, what's happening? Right. We're not trying to I'm name drop. I'm not trying to name drop or brag, but I'm just telling you how crazy is that that all three of these people in a row walked by us and said hello to us. It was super us. weird. And then yeah. also John Legend was like, hey, I was an acapella in college, blah, 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 Penn State. And right. I was like. Your voice is amazing. I was like, I listen to all of me every day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting us gloat for a second. Yeah. We, we were just excited because yes. this is something that is not normal for us. Usually we're at these events and everyone's like, who are these losers in the corner? But now we felt like we belong. But now who are these Grammy award Grand winning losers? Grammy platinum in the corner? artist losers in the corner. <laughs> and that's us. <laughs> Uh, we did meet a lot of celebrities, but I didn't get to meet Beyonce because she was so not accessible. Yeah. She was like nowhere to be found, and then she'd walk out right before her award, and right then whether us. she won or not, she would walk right out. <clears throat> and yeah. like everyone wanted to talk to her. She had a million bodyguards. It was so nerve wracking, but I got this really blurry picture of her. That <laughs> <laughs> <It> was great. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's uh, some amazing And she celebrity. killed it, by the way. She was so amazing. She had such a great performance, and then she did this thing where she was like, Oh, and she was in it? <laughs> we all got body chills and we all stood up, it was crazy. Speaking of that, after we presented, <clears throat> as we were walking back to our seats, who else but Rihanna walked by in her giant pink fluffy dress. And I was a mess, I was like, oh my god, there she is in the flesh. And right as she walked by, I stepped on her giant, probably super expensive gown. And then as quickly as I stepped on it, I recoiled and walked away as fast as I could because you know, if Rihanna turned around and yelled at me, I would never forgive myself. Yeah, it would have ruined your night. It would have ruined my night 100%, but thankfully she didn't notice. I did tweet her and tag her though today, so hopefully she didn't read it. <laughs> Later, she walked by me and I was like, really excited for you. But she wasn't looking at me, so I like faded out, you know, and I you like say something yeah. and you get insecure about it. So I was like, hey. That's why I don't say anything. Yeah, I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, that's the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we saw Jay-Z backstage, didn't go up to him, thought about it. You thought about it? I, I did. We I were walking by, I was like, I think I'm gonna say, hey man, I love your music. Oh. Oh, I didn't. Think I about said, it. bye. I walked right by him. Yeah, we walked by Gwen Stefani too, and she looked amazing. Oh, I didn't see her. Yeah, so all in all, it was such an amazing, amazing, legendary event. I couldn't believe yeah, it. Yeah, we I cried to go. three times. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, we won a Grammy. Yeah. That is so weird. Grammy award winning artist, it still sounds weird when we say it out loud. It's still, it's still hitting me in waves, so. Yes, and thank you guys again. For believing in us when we were just using the iPad to upload YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> we love you guys. And now it's time for well, we the legend. What's your weekly obsession? My weekly asshole. obsession is our new Grammy. Yeah, I'm gonna that have to beautiful. go ahead and agree with that we one. We don't have the physical one yet. Yeah. 
But they're gonna put our names in each one and send us all one. Everyone here's a good song to listen to anything else today. Or why will shit on your pillow and then Mitch will have to throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. My song of the week is Feeling Myself by Nicki Minaj featuring Beyonce. And I know I'm maybe a little late to the party, but I love That's okay. that song. It goes off and I've just been really into it lately. My song of the week is a song um, called Lips by Marion Hill. I've never heard of this girl previously, um, but somebody tweeted me today and was like, hey, you should listen to this. And so I did, it's really cool. It has really minimal production elements and um, the lyrics are pretty simplistic. It's really nice, but um, I don't know, it sounds like a girl at the coffee shop that's like really cool and she like has this weird looping pedal and she's just doing really insane tricks with it. And you're like, damn, that's really impressive. I bet her album's good. And it is good. <laughs> so go check it out or die. And that's all the time we have tonight. That's <laughs> all the time we have. We have had the busiest week ever, <clears throat> but we didn't miss a Superfruit episode because we love you. <laughs> Goodbye. We're exhausted, but we're still making a video. We're tired, we're exhausted, but we're still making a video. <laughs> I'll kill you.